okay so in this video we continue our efforts to learn how to solve simple algebraic equations till now what we did is we just use one operation a single operation for example addition subtraction multiplication or division to solve a simple equation now we will increase the complexity and the complexity that is increased is that we might have to do more than one operation and it might not be a same operation it could be either addition multiplication so let's try to solve equations of that type now the equation that we have here is 3n plus 7 equals 25 and we want to solve this now uh, this is the left hand side of the equation the LHS and this is the right hand side and we are going to use the concept of balance that is we can use either of the four arithmetic operations of addition subtraction multiplication or division and try to isolate this variable n right try to isolate this variable n in such a way that it satisfies this equation so now if I look at this equation I cannot separate n straight away because there are two terms here that is 3n plus 7 equals 25 so we have to go in a step by step manner to solve this equation so okay before I can separate out n here we need to get rid of this 7 so I can get rid of this plus 7 by subtracting 7 from both the left hand side and the right hand side so my first step would be 3n plus 7 minus 7 which is on the left hand side and similarly we have 25 minus 7 which is on the right hand side so this is subtracting 7 7 from both sides now this gets cancelled and we have 3n equals this will be 25 minus 7 so that will be 18 okay now you can see that we have 3n and we have 18 but I still need to isolate the n now how do we isolate the n if I divide this term 3n by 3 then 3 gets cancelled out and I have 8 so first step for subtracting now we divide both sides by the number 3 so that means that what we do is 3n divided by 3 and 18 divided by 3 so this 3 gets cancelled out and we have n and 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 6 is 18 so we have n equals 6 so this is how we solve this equation so we had to subtract and then we had to divide right two steps we had to do to isolate the n now a good practice is to check the solution so check by substituting n equals 6 in the left hand side we know that the right hand side is always a number so let us put 3n plus 7 equals to 3 into 6 plus 7 or it is 18 plus 7 which is equal to 25 now this 25 is nothing but what we have in RHS so we say that for n is equal to 7 right the left hand side equals right hand side and therefore n equals 7 is a solution of this equation okay so this was a problem which involved two steps to isolate the variable n and arrive to a solution now let us have a look at other problem but I think we have reached quite far away from where we wanted to go so we will quickly go back to our so this was what we solved and now we need to come back here to the second problem 
so sorry for that we just by accident we just went to the last foil in this presentation and now okay so we have the second equation which is 2p minus 1 equals 23 now let us try to solve this using the same method so we have left hand side and we have right hand side now our, my first step would be somehow to isolate this p here right such that and get a value of p such that it satisfies this equation now in order to isolate this p i cannot do it straight away that is this minus one and then there is two along with the p here so we need to first get rid of this minus one so the way we can do it is if i add a plus one to both the sides then we can have the minus one gone so our first step would be adding one to both sides so what happens is we have 2p minus 1 plus 1 that is I'm adding 1 to the left hand side and I'm also adding 1 to the right hand side now this minus 1 plus 1 cancels out and we have 2p equals 24 now this is what we get but we still don't have an isolated p there is still 2 which is multiplied by p now we can solve this if I divide 2p by 2 then the 2 gets cancelled out and we should be able to get a separate p so our next operation would be dividing both sides by 2 so let us do it 2p divided by 2 equals 24 divided by 2 now this 2 gets cancelled so therefore we have p on the left hand side and this one we have 12 so p gives is equal to 12 now this is the value that we get as a solution for this equation but we would like to check this equation and we check this equation by substituting p equals 12 on the left hand side which is 2p minus 1 which equals to 2 into 12 minus 1 which says that we have 24 minus 1 or the final that we get is 23 now if this is what we get for p equals 12 but if you see that this is also equal to the right hand side this is equal to RHS so for p equals 12 we see that the left hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side and therefore this is a solution of this equation so we discussed two problems in which there were more than one operation involved now it these are this, this was just the next step of difficulty you might encounter equations where you might have to do the steps more than one time more than two times and so on so now let us quickly review some of the things that we learned while trying to solve the equations the first thing is the operation that we want to do to solve an equation that is whether we select addition subtraction division or multiplication it really depends on the equation it's the type of equation right and what is the key idea in trying to solve the equation is that we need to separate out the variable that's what we have been doing in all the problems that we solved earlier we were just trying to separate out the variable and we also figured out that we might have to do multiple operations to separate out the variable and one of the things that we should remember and as a good practice is to check the correctness of the solution by substituting the solution and original equation so these are some of the key points to keep in mind when you try to solve a simple algebraic equation in the next video we will discuss a couple of more problems with one additional level of complexity that is the next step of difficulty uh, to solve these equations. See you in the next video.